Welcome to John's Metal Detecting Adventures. Here we are today, searching for history, and we're out with the Mine Lab Manticore. Please join me and see what we're going to find today. unusual. Some sort of button. Fancy button. Could be gold one. <laughs> That's a nice button. Interesting. Very, very interesting. That could be gold. Check that out later. Nice. Mm -hmm. What do you say? <clears throat> like an early Georgian penny, 19th, 17th century. Oh, it's deep. Size like that. Now that is one big piece of lead. Huge. Crikey. Size of that one. Oh, 57. That was a large pewter spoon handle. Quite large, that. Huh? It's a big one. Spoon handle. Pewter. Probably 17th to 18th century. Yeah, I've got a buckle, probably 18th century. Something 78 down there, don't know what it is. Oh, it's a oh, it's a massive dessert spoon, pewter spoon, size of that. Wow, wait, that's massive. 16th, 17th century, it's massive. It's a big one. What is part of that? Handle that I found. <laughs> Massive that, look at that. That's 78. <laughs> 47. Teaspoon, pewter. 18, 19th century, 51. Oh, -ho! yeah, we've got it, Silver. Hey, <laughs> really, who oh, is it then? It's Georgia Six, sixpence. What's the date of that then? Nineteen thirty-seven. Nineteen thirty-seven. George the Six. Sixpence. Brilliant. Sixpence of George the Six. Nineteen. Nineteen thirty-seven. Brilliant. I love finding this silver. It's brilliant. Just doing the count up. Out with the Manticore. End of day. Sun is a setting. It's time to go home for something to eat. I uh, think what I've done about six hours detecting today. Uh, 
at least I got a silver. So I'm on my second silver with a Mantico, which isn't too bad, I suppose. But um, there's always another day, another day, another field, another area, another history. Let's see what we're going to dig out another time. But in the meantime, I'm just going to give you the counter for what I've done. Just a few more, more bits, really, uh, to what we've got today. So this is what we've got as a final, final count up in the afternoon. The big dessert spoon, size of that. I mean, that's massive. Huge. Um, handle to go with it. A teaspoon. Some sort of copper top or something. Not quite sure about that. Uh, loads of buckles. Horse buckles. I think there's a shoe buckle there that's not so good. Uh, broken buckles and of course uh, that is still I think it's not Roman but it looks like it but it's not I think we're looking at uh, some sort of modern door handle Pity. nearly thought it were Roman then so Roman fib I thought but no it's not looks like it <laughs> brass bucket I'm afraid that's a brass bucket uh, and of course, we've got all the relative buttons, 17th century buttons. I think that's some sort of, looks like a bullet, but I don't think it is. It looks like the same shape as a, as a um, thimble. So it could be a thimble form, not sure. Uh, got all the different coins. Got uh, jo Edward the Seventh, Victoria, George the Sixth, jo uh, George the Third. Uh, all over here, and then of course we have somewhere. Where's it gone? Disappeared. And we have then to finish off with the silver. 1937. Six buns. Hang on, let's get it in there. Of course, that button there. That's an interesting button. Look at that. Uh, brass and it might be gold and silver. Who's to know? I don't know. It looks expensive. And then, of course, yeah, like I said, the George the Six, six buns. That's what we got. Um, there we go. So that's your lot for today. At least I got silver because you don't get silver all the time. Now, what I did not put on the spade is the trash. Believe me, loads of tin cans foil ring poles i've got that down so i pretty me i'm gonna have to put it to my video to show you what what that comes up at i think is it number 49 or something ring poles and so loads and loads of trash dug it all out take it all away that's what we've got to do so uh thank you very much uh for watching hope you can uh, be so kind as to subscribe and uh we uh, on thumbs up would be very nice so Catch you on the next adventure, which is going to be in the middle of the week. So stay tuned with the Mantico. I'm really enjoying that machine. I really am. I'm just going to fine tune it a bit and learn a little bit more before middle of middle of the week. But still, it's it's good. I, I like it so sharp and precise. It's pretty good. Uh, it's only 11 inch search coil. Okay, well, thanks a lot, and we will catch you another time. Take care. Bye for now.